Saying consumer electronics have been difficult to get recently would be a massive understatement. It has been so hard to find a new graphics card, a new gaming system. So many different things have just been sold out or are being scalped. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get your hands on a new graphics card. So the first thing is you just really want to have a good, clean, dry hand. And then you just kind of get a nice, firm grip. And that's how you get your hands on a new graphics card. I hope that helped you out. So how about that intro, huh? Pretty funny. I got you. I bet you thought I was going to show you how to get your hands on a graphics card. Well, guess what? I am. Here's a list of parts that I'm going to be getting and the secret to me being able to actually buy all these parts and have them arrive at my house for a reasonable price and in a reasonable amount of time is a pre-built. System integrators have parts on hand. People aren't buying entire systems and scalping them because if they want to resell a graphics card, then they have to resell several other parts. So I'm going to be showing you the list of parts that I went through and then where I got them from and how I actually ended up saving money. And that is at MSRP prices, not at scalp prices. If we take into account MSRP prices, I save a little bit. If we take into account scalp scalped prices, I save a ton of money and hopefully you'll be able to do that as well. So here it is. Here's a look at all the parts I ended up going with via CyberPower PC. Now this of course is PC part picker. I don't know if you know what that is, but this has a culmination of different parts and it kind of helps you assemble things and people share their different configs and like where they get sales and things like that. So you can see like not all this is from Amazon. Sometimes Walmart or B&H Photo or Newegg may have the best prices. So this is like if you're putting everything together yourself, this is a convenient way to store it, but also a really good way to find where it's the cheapest. So this hypothetically, if you're putting things together on your own, should be one of the best resources you can use to finding the lowest price. Now, obviously a huge reason why I even looked at CyberPower in the first place is because things like the 3080, I just cannot buy on my own. They're just getting grabbed by people and reselling them. So. I did go ahead and manually enter in the price that it retails at on these websites and I can show you that. If you actually could get them in stock, it would be about this much. So for this, I'm going to pretend that you can actually get them and show you how much everything's going to cost. This is all the same stuff as what I ended up getting in my system config on the CyberPower PC website. All exact same thing. The only thing that could be maybe slightly different is this. Uh, this is the part that I got, but this is the 2019 edition. I don't know. Maybe they're using something older or newer. I have no idea. Uh, on their website, they offer a three pack, whereas this I had to individually buy three of them. But all in all, this ends up being about $2,100. And then if we flip over to the end total, on the pre-config you can see right here it is all the same parts and it actually comes out to with our nice little discount code it's like 60 dollars cheaper to get it all put together for you and shipped to your house plus we actually get a graphics card like i was being very generous with the pc part picker list you're not going to be able to find multiple components at a time this you will get them all It'll be put together for you and, you know, just show up at your door all together and test it. And you saved money. So I'd actually never bought anything like this before. So I went ahead and I showed me opening it up and kind of what you can expect, because I assume a lot of people probably haven't really done this before either. So here is me opening it up. They have a motherboard box and they ship you back the actual box that your case comes in. There's a little scuff on there. I thought maybe someone stepped on it or something. It ended up being fine. I think the default case shipping is probably good enough. And then in the motherboard box, they give you like, I had my freebie mouse pad. They give me like my invoice and some goodies with that. And then you could see really all they have to do to secure everything is they have like foam packaging inside of the case to make sure the graphics card doesn't like snap in half while someone's moving the stuff around but it all held together really well and on top of that it seemed like whoever put this together knew what they were doing or at least are good at faking it i didn't pay any extra for cable management and that's something they have but like that's probably about what i would do same with the front this is about the level that i would do for my own personal system of keeping everything together so really 
I feel like they did a pretty good job with this. I'm surprised. Now, everything that you're seeing right now was taken about a month ago before I actually ordered the system. I wanted to make sure that nothing crazy happened with the system before I went ahead and said, hey, this is where I got it from. Let me give you my recommendation on this. You know, I wanted to actually make sure that this stuff was decent and everything showed up fine as I showed off earlier. I did end up going with CyberPower PC because it was the best deal I could find at the time. That very well may be different now or two weeks from now or whatever. So please look around. The other one I really was looking at was iBuyPower, but there's plenty of other places that has offerings going on all the time. So please really do your research. It took me a few hours to really figure out what I wanted. And I have another video going really in depth on the parts that I picked and why I picked it. So if you need to know this information and you're putting something together and you aren't 100% sure what you want, please go check that out. But this is just gonna be a really brief look at everything I got. Now on their website specifically, they have a bunch of different categories that you'll want to kind of cross compare depending on if you want an Intel build or a higher end or a lower end. And whenever you customize it for whatever reason, the end results, even if you have the same parts, they can sometimes be different prices. So really look into that. Now my goal scrolling through all of this was to just kind of cut out as much of the junk as I could. So I'm not really gonna try to stack up on these like $9 plus like keyboard or stuff like that, the little goodies that they come with. I'm just gonna avoid these entirely. I will grab the free $50 gift card though, cause that will, uh, you know, offset my cost a little bit. And then this is a big thing that catches me on a lot of uh, different pre-built stuffs are the cases. Some of them will have their own weird in-house cases or just ones that I can't find any information on. Maybe they're these weird like OEM configurations. Like it's like, oh, this looks like a Fantex system, but I can't really find any information on it. So maybe this isn't one that's readily available for consumers. I, I don't know. So because of that, I went ahead and I went for the P400A, which I could find a bunch of information on. Then for case fans, I went ahead and went for three Fantech high airflow fans and two came with my water cooler, which I will talk about right now. So there are a few different selections that they give you for what type of CPU cooler you want. They have some air, they have some 120, 240 and 360 for water cooling. I went ahead and went with this because it was cheap and it seemed pretty good. For motherboard, the one that they gave me by default was not bad, but they did have quite a selection of motherboards, so I really tried to dig in and look at all the ones that they had and which one I really wanted. And I ended up going with this MSI motherboard that I thought would fit my needs pretty well and wasn't breaking the bank. Now the memory, I actually ended up swapping out memory that I had on hand, but by default, they give me 16 gigs of this crucial stuff and it's not a bad deal. If you want anything different, unfortunately, the other kits are not a great deal, but this, this was just fine. I went ahead and just stuck with what they gave me by default because it was cheap. And then right here, the important part, the graphics card. Now this actually isn't named. It just says GeForce RTX 3080. I thought I was gonna get a Founders Edition, but they just sent me whatever they had on hand, I guess, which was a Gigabyte Vision and uh, it's pretty nice. And then we get a freebie with our graphics card and power supply is another place where they are going to try to get you. Thankfully, they have a pretty big selection. So really would not go with a standard 80 plus. Make sure you can actually look up what you're getting with your power supply. That's gonna be the main thing that's going to act weird on here. So I spent an extra, what was it? $22, I think, to get this Corsair one that I actually could look at reviews on instead of this weird random one that I'm trying to find information on. I'm looking at the specs, don't know anything. And then for drives, I am going to go ahead and swap in my own drives as well. So I just went with something cheap, something pretty decent that I could go ahead and either use or flip around and put it on the used market. And they happen to have this Intel NVMe SSD on sale. It's a pretty good price. I was considering getting uh, like an 860 Evo. I thought that would be pretty nice. I didn't want a hard drive combo, which is what they're offering. But look, here it is, the one terabyte Intel 665P, which Again, they had a sale on it, and I'm sure they'll have a sale on something else by the time this comes out. Now, the bad thing about getting a pre-built is they want to give you all this junk. So I'm going to save $5 and not get this keyboard that will go in the trash. Really don't need this keyboard. I would not recommend grabbing this unless you actually really need it. And they do the same with a mouse as well. Yeah, don't want that mouse, save $3. 
just it's just gonna go in the trash there's no point mass pad already got a freebie one which honestly i'm probably not gonna use so not gonna worry about that now windows i have my own windows you could buy windows cheaper than 60 dollars on here i would not go with windows unless you really just want it to be all up and running whenever it shows up at your door. This is what I was saying. I did not get any professional, like extra wiring stuff or anything like that. I also didn't buy any extra special foam and obviously mine didn't need it. So I don't know why that's there. And then I did get the 5% off instant rebate, but I think there's actually promo codes that go on at different points that can give you the 5% off without having the no rush delivery. So definitely look into that. And now we're at the end total. Here we are. We saved a bunch of money. Now, obviously shipping and handling um actually i think shipping didn't cost anything but taxes that's where they get you and by them i mean literally anyone you buy from because in most places you're gonna have to pay tax that's my run through on how i picked out whatever parts uh again i have a way more in depth of video going through that but as you can see i feel like you aren't really restricted with picking your parts like they have a pretty good selection it's not like it's a big detriment to go through and pick everything. I really wanted to show that like I wasn't just making up a scenario where the PC part picker like, oh yeah, well, of course, if you pick those parts, it's going to be cheaper than like buying it yourself. Like I just picked some normal parts that I wanted. There wasn't some weird special config that I did with it. Well, that's pretty much it for my how to get a graphics card video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Maybe you have some tips. Maybe you know a better website or some alternative way to grab one of these awesome cards. Let me know. And now I only have one thing left to do. Got a new computer. Obviously, I'm going to play Cyberpunk. Duh, you think I'm not going to play Cyberpunk after I just built a stupid good gaming PC? I got a 3080 in here. And this game, this game is hard to run. Let me tell you, we're hovering around 60 FPS right now, which is pretty solid. You might be like, ooh, what are you playing it at? Well, guess what? 1080p, max settings. That's about all this can do. Uh, like, <laughs> it is pretty good at scaling with higher resolutions. Like, it definitely performance wise seems to do better in higher resolutions obviously those numbers are going to be lower but it seems like the the it, it ramps up whenever it really starts to be able to stretch its legs but i mean dude people act like it's crazy to play at 1080p if you got this thing but here i am i mean i can't push more than 60 fps in this fast-paced shooter game which would really be how i would want to play it so you know what? I'm just gonna have a good time like this. I hope, hello? There we go, yeah, that's that's a good time. For me, not for him. Oh my God, okay, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away. I don't need to watch that. <laughs> let's, let's go find some rays to trace. Let's go see what we can see. There should be a lot of cool light effects going on. I mean, look at, look at the buildings. Ooh, buildings, they have reflections on them. Look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm scaring everyone. I'm sorry, guys. Please don't leave. Please don't turn the video off. 